people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Claire Summer and this is Lumiere. I am going to be doing your pick a card reading and today's reading is It's Complicated. So maybe you are feeling complicated about your connection or maybe your relationship is starting to feel a little bit complicated or a little bit complex. So maybe there are different factors or just the emotions have become very complicated or you're in a complicated situation. So it's just really like what's going on in this connection. So if that resonates with you, um, then this reading is definitely for you. This is your situation. So um, we've got three beautiful groups for you today. I will insert an overhead shot. We've got uh, three butterflies for you to choose from. You can choose from your intuition. We have group one, group two, and group three. So you can use your intuition or the style of the butterfly, the colors or the number if that resonates with you. You are welcome to pause the video if you want to, to make your selection, but all the timestamps are in the description box below. All right, so take as long as you need. And when you are ready, I will see you at the timestamp. Welcome everybody to your reading, everyone who picked group number one. This is for everyone who picked butterfly number one. So I'm gonna take a look at your tarot first and I will look at your oracle cards in a moment. Opening your reading with the moon in reverse. Very interesting. Three of cups in reverse. <clears throat> Ace of wands. Four of cups. The Eight of Swords at the center of your reading, very significant, Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and then Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? So, Pisces energy is represented here very strongly. Um, sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, that may resonate with you, but if it doesn't, don't worry about it too much. Um, something's coming to light with this moon in the reverse, there is a secret that is coming out. Um, it could be your person's true feelings or your true feelings. There's gonna be some clarity coming for you, which I think is what you really need in this situation. So something is gonna be coming to light over the next few weeks, which is gonna give you a much greater understanding of what's going on in this connection. So this is a powerful opening to your reading. I feel like there's an issue here um, to do with other people with this three of cups in the reverse. Maybe that um, friends or family have had an influence uh, in this connection or in how you think about this person or how they think about you. Um, that could be indicated here. It's also indicated that um, I'm sensing maybe a third party situation has come to light. Um, that may be something that's happened, but if that is the case, that's something you already know about. And this is just being reflected to you in the reading. But I'm getting a really strong sense of um, flirtation, right? So I just feel like there's been some sort of difficulty for some of you um, whereby maybe a person was talking to other people or still dating or flirting with other people. But I'm just picking up really strongly on the energies of other people right influencing this connection or maybe another person who is influencing this connection this could be a third party situation as well when i see this um it feels a little bit stagnant it feels a little bit like uh there's a bit of unhappiness as a result of this, I feel that maybe you haven't been um, able to see this person very much or like you've not been spending a lot of time with them or just that you've not been having like a lot of fun in this connection, like the fun has drained out of this connection um, and it's become like a little bit heavy feeling. But what I do see here is like These influences that have been uh, at play in your connection are fading away. So what's coming to light is clarity. I feel like you're just gonna, if someone in this connection hasn't been able to make a decision about who they wanted or what it is that they wanted, 
then I feel them like the energy drawing down and then being able to make that choice and to be able to choose you and to give you the love. So it's just like, if there's been anybody else, if there's been any other dating or flirting or whatever, the person that they want is you, right? And um, they are, what I'm hearing from spirit is they're prepared to leave behind any other options. And this is what is gonna be coming to light for you over the next few weeks. And if it's just like there's been this energy of kind of listening to other people or uh, what it is that they've got to say about the relationship, then I see um, just this energy of them being able to own their own agency and kind of just tune in to their own intuition and to their, their own inner voice and what it is that they want for them and not be listening to these other people or influenced by what other people think about this connection. There's so much passion in this connection, beautiful ace of wands here, so a lot of lust, a lot of that kundalini sexual energy. Um, they feel really drawn to you. I, I always see this as a magnetic attraction, so there's definitely a lot of spark in this relationship. There's definitely a lot of uh, attraction, chemistry, right? So you are drawn to one another like this, and this is good, you know, I, what I'm sensing, it feels very exciting to me. So this is good. And this also shows me that there is um, especially after this three of cups, you know, they're drawing down their energy and they're focused. Ace of Wands is focused energy. They're like laser focused on you. Okay, so whatever it is that's been like getting in the way of this. With, I'm just getting like a real sense of kind of other people's energy getting involved in your connection. So maybe it's a third party situation, but they want you. They want to invest in you. They want to pursue you, right? This is like going after something. They're passionate about you and they're leaving behind anything else. So I think it's good that this is coming to light. But there's also this offer of love. This offer of love, this offer of deeper feelings, which is on the table with this Four of Cups energy. But it's just like somebody's not accepting it with this Eight of Swords right in the middle of your reading. So someone's not accepting this offer, maybe the offer of a relationship, maybe the offer of love. I feel like maybe um, somebody in this connection doesn't trust it, is what I'm hearing very strongly from spirit. They don't trust um, the other person to do right by them. They, maybe they don't, they, there's this energy of perhaps they don't trust um, that they're being genuine and what it is that they have to offer and what it is that they wanna say. Um, because on the surface of it, it does just look like they're just after you for one thing. But with this Four of Cups, it does indicate that they want more. They are um, offering more. They have got emotion and love to offer. But I just feel like somebody in this connection is suspicious, like doesn't necessarily want it. Um, could be the case that it's a second chance and they're like, I don't, I'm not sure about giving you a second chance or you know, we've had all these issues, I'm just not sure about it, but, because um, I just feel like, you know, there has been some grief and some loss and some sadness to this connection in the past, and I just feel like, because the Eight of Swords is what's at the center of your reading, so I feel like somebody in this connection is really caught up in fears, right? So, what I'm sensing is that the way that you perceive the situation right now, the what you're thinking, isn't how it truly is. And this is why you're gonna get clarity. This is why the truth is gonna to come to light for you. But there's so much here about fear, fear of rejection, fear of getting hurt, fear of history repeating itself is what I'm hearing from spirit. Um, fear of them not being able to come good on their promises. So it's just like, yeah, I see what you're offering. I want it, um, but I'm not sure about it. But whatever it is that you're thinking or whatever it is that they are thinking, these readings can go vice versa. It isn't what you think it is. This is what spirit wants you to know. The way that you're perceiving it through your perception right now, today, isn't 
isn't the truth of it that isn't the reality of it and over the next few weeks you'll get that clarity you're going to be able to see that bigger picture is what i'm hearing so that offer of love is there that offer of love is on the table for you um there's a lot of fear about uh you know getting uh someone has a lot of fear about getting their heart broken is what i'm seeing in this but what i'm seeing is that someone wants to make this right for you with this six of pentacles because i just feel like they feel like what is this energy they, they want to make it right to you they're just like please take what it is that i have to offer there's you know a lot here with the four of cups and then the six of pentacles like this about an offer or what it is that somebody's got to offer remember this could be vice versa it could be you it could be your person but there's this energy of an offering and somebody not being willing to accept it or being afraid to accept it or not quite trusting it or something like this but um because it's turning into a bit of a nightmare and they feel like they've been unlucky right so maybe they got caught out on a lie or on um some shady behavior or on um Or just what I'm sensing is just that just in there's just this energy that they kind of got caught out or you called them out on something on their behavior and they feel like they've been unlucky they feel like there's a lot of regret here so something's going on right now or something that's gone on in the past you know take it how it resonates um, but it just feels a bit of a nightmare. It feels like this, you know, really indicates to me with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse that there is this energy of kind of being unlucky, of things like not being in right alignment is what I'm hearing. Okay, things being a little bit out of balance and that turning it into a little bit of a nightmare for both of you. So, you know, your person is very, um, you know, they do have anxiety about this this is something that's at the forefront of their mind there is this energy of them wanting to make things right it may just be the case that they haven't recognized the connection or they didn't um treat you in the way that you deserved or they didn't uh level up to this connection when they had the chance so this is energy of them having missed a chance with you wanting a second chance whether that's to reconcile or to be with you or to date you or to just be in your energy, wanting a second chance or just like there's this missed opportunity here with this uh, wheel of fortune in reverse and they feel sorry for themselves is what I'm saying and they're just like, please give me this opportunity to kind of make things right or to be with you or to talk to you. But a lot of uh, being caught up in fears in this, in this reading. It may be that they put uh, their friends or their family uh, ahead of you uh, you know, ahead of this connection. That's indicated here as well. Let's take a look at your oracle card. So we have from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck, the card Physical Touch. Uh, this is a card 47, which breaks down to 11, which breaks down to two. So those, those numbers may be significant to you in this connection. Um, so it's the card physical touch they really want to like this always indicates to me that they really want to be in your presence so perhaps there's physical distance between you um, they want to be with you like in the 3D they want to be able to feel your energy they want to be able to feel your touch um, they want to just kind of be in your presence and just there's this energy of romance here with this guy down on one knee kissing this girl's hand. So a kind of being traditional, of wanting to make a romantic gesture, of kind of, and you know, he's just, he's on his knees, kind of lower. He's like saying, look, have mercy on me. I'm sorry about this. I did wrong. I know this has been a bit of a nightmare. So, uh, or I, I, you know, I didn't quite get the measure of the situation. There's just this like, just seeing like an image of a, like a dog with his tail between his legs, just like super sorry about something. Um, and then we have the energy of forgiveness. 
So this is a very specific reading that we're having today. So for whoever I'm connecting with, they need this message. If you find that it's not quite the message for you, then maybe check out one of the other piles because spirit, you, you know, you've been drawn here for a reason, but otherwise just take what resonates as always and leave the rest. But this energy of forgiveness is here. So maybe you're hoping that they will forgive you because uh, maybe there was, um, you acted out of integrity or you overreacted or you pushed them away um, and now you don't know how to get back with them or it just could be this energy that you need to forgive them in order to move forward and release these fears of what may happen in the future. Step into that energy of, you know, of love, connect to source and just, just know, just say, look, only good can come to me. Only good can come from this situation that can be your affirmation to help you both at this time. But I don't know why this is here. I feel like for some of you, it could just be quite a small thing, like a misunderstanding, not a great big kind of rupture, just to like a little bit of a misunderstanding, not quite being on the same page, like a little bit of a mismatch in communication. But there's so much here about like them wanting to reach out to you, right? Four of Cups wanting to reach out. Six of Pentacles, wanting to reach out. Ace of Wands is about wanting to come forward or something and reach out. And now this guy, he's like reaching out to her. There's a lot here about wanting to reach out. We have the card balancing the scales, Libra's energy represented here. And this is very similar to this energy with the scales in the Six of uh, Pentacles that we see here. So mirroring energies coming up in your Oracle cards today. So it indicates that there's a lack of, you know, a lack of balance between you both. Maybe somebody's putting in more than the other. Maybe somebody isn't accepting what the other has to offer, right, at this time. So what I'm hearing from Spirit is something's got to give. Somebody has got to be the one to be vulnerable. Somebody has got to be the one to put their heart on the line. Somebody's got to be the one to open up a little bit, to, um, to create resolution, to create healing to be able to move forward because it feels like there's a little bit of a, a stalemate just like well I just I just think if somebody in this connection has acted out of their integrity then and you recognize that the only thing you can do is come from your heart space it doesn't mean you have to be a doormat or anything like this but just be gentle be compassionate have an open heart and just know that by mirroring their energy or their bad behavior or, or the way that they're going about things or they're approaching things, you're only gonna get stuck in a loop. And this is what I'm seeing here with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this inability to kind of resolve it, right? To move forward, to resolve it, to find solution. There's like this, it's like a cog that's just jammed. So there needs to be some forgiveness, um, and just this acceptance of whatever it is. And if they're just offering a little crumb or just a little crack in the doorway where they're just opening it a little bit, they're just opening themselves up to you a little bit, you know, respond to that with warmth or just give them a tiny little bit of warmth and let them respond to your warmth. This is what I'm hearing from spirit. We have the card refocus. Okay, so this, is, this has got an image of a woman go down a path on a horse so she's choosing her direction so spirit's really saying look you can choose these lower vibrational energies you can choose this fear these fear-based feelings these fear-based thoughts or you can imagine you can see yourself in the end imagine yourself with your person in this connection how you would like things to be refocus your thoughts your energy and your mind on what it is that you want to see in this situation rather than uh, giving into your fears rather than ruminating about what's been said or what other people have said or about the past or about all the um, disaster scenarios. I can never be with them, we'll never be together, he'll never choose me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we focus. Imagine that person smiling. Imagine them being so happy to see you. Imagine them being so happy to touch you. Imagine you spending quality time together and choose higher vibrational thoughts. They will lead to higher vibrational feelings. So there's big emphasis on refocusing um, how you approach this, but also your own inner landscape and how you feel. All right. 
Um, I hope this has been beneficial and there's been something, I hope it's helped and there's something you can take away from this reading. Uh, let me know how it resonates. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful book, Attract Soulmate Love. I have written it from the heart. It is helping so many people in our community. It's making me feel a little bit emotional. I get really beautiful stories about people overcoming their blocks to love, coming into union with their special person, um, or just creating harmony in their connection. So so much powerful information in there. Um, if it resonates, check it out. Loads of information on my website, also all my meditations as well. All right, but have an amazing week. You are always in my thoughts. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. It's been really special. I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care now, bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading, everyone who picked butterfly number two. I hope you're all doing okay. Thank you so much to my Lumis, my amazing subscribers. Uh, thank you for supporting this channel and supporting each other. It's very sweet of you uh, to do that. If you want to find out more about me, there's loads more in the description box below this video. All right, I will start with your tarot cards today. Um, and we'll see if we can get some clarity regarding your complicated situationship or connection all right remember this is just an opportunity to reflect today uh, to get some clarity so take what resonates and leave the rest opening your reading with king of pentacles in reverse page of swords beautiful lovers card the chariot High Priestess, this is a powerful reading that's coming out. Ace of Cups. Five of Cups. Queen of Wands. Five of Swords. Okay, this is a powerful reading. Um, I think this is a really significant connection for you in your lifetime, is what I'm seeing here, you know, because we've got so much Major Arcana, we've got the Lovers, we've got the Chariot, we've got High Priestess. Right, and then we've got King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. So there's a lot of energies here. So we'll talk about this, but Pisces energy, Cancer's energy, Gemini's energy represented here, and Leo's energy as well, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, that may resonate with you. So opening your reading with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, your person may be being um, a little bit immature, okay, in um, their outlook towards this relationship, or maybe they've just acted in an immature way. What I'm picking up on is that they definitely um, aren't sure what it is that they want for the long term or what it is that they want for their life. So I'm sensing that you, um, you're dealing with somebody or there's just this energy in the connection of just like not knowing um, what's best for the long term, not what, knowing what they want for the long term and really just not having a very clear plan for their life. This could be their life in general as to like what they want to do with their life or which direction they're going in. Maybe they're a little bit directionless, right? And they don't know kind of where it is that they're at with it all. Um, I'm getting this sense because, you know, like in the upright, this is my ship just got real card. This is like really kind of recognizing stuff and kind of owning it. So I feel like there's this energy of kind of not really leveling up to things, to this connection. Um, again, this energy of kind of immaturity or not really, not really just. kind of owning, taking responsibility for their part in things. This is what I'm picking up on, just this energy of kind of not really taking responsibility for things. We have this page of swords energy. So again, this is immature energy. You may have, um, your person may be a little bit younger than you. They could just be a younger soul, a younger spirit. Um, I feel like they're definitely, you know, Keeping an eye on you, you know, this page of swords is a little spy right here in your reading. He's checking up on you. They want to know what you're doing, um, who you're with, who you're doing it with, what's going on in your life. Um, they're trying to get more information about you. 
Um, I feel that they want to communicate with you. It may not be the communication that you are hoping for, you know, the big discussion, the clarity that you need. Um, I feel like some of their communication may be a little bit confusing, like they're reaching out to you, uh, but in kind of unsatisfactory ways. So, you know, through social media, um, through commenting on your posts, things like this, but maybe uh, or through asking around about you. Through, through other people, right? But they're not coming out and saying anything. So I feel like this is why it's complicated. You're a little bit in the dark about kind of things, how things are going. There's this energy of stagnation here as well uh, with this King of Pentacles in the reverse. And what I'm hearing from spirit is things are up in the air. So um, things have stalled, but you know, there's a lot of energy in here, but everything's just kind of been left unfinished. Like you're just like, well, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what this means. So it's not just that it's complicated, it's confusing as well. Like, because things are just up in the air. This is what I'm picking up on with this King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Page of Swords. They wanna communicate with you. There is deep love here. This is a soul connection with this lover's card showing up in your reading. You may be on the twin flame journey. This can indicate a union. So I feel like they're doing their best. They do wanna communicate with you. They do love you. This is a deep soul connection where you are woven together in each other's lives. These kind of connections can be uh, very triggering. You know, they can trigger our deepest wounds, our deepest fears. Um, that may be with you, it may be with them and what's going on with them. Lots of mirroring energy here, but lots of love. It's just so beautiful. This connection is like, it's divine. Um, Oh, and what I'm seeing here is super interesting. We have the chariot. We have the high priestess at the center of your reading. And we've got the lovers. These are all energies of duality, right? We've got the black and the white pillars on here. We've got the black and the white on here. We've got a couple on here. This is all the, the yin and the yang and the divine masculine, the divine feminine, it's all represented here, but there's this energy of duality here. So it's like what I'm hearing from spirit is your two sides of the same coin. Um, so there's, you've got very, you may not be very similar people, but you've got very similar energies. There's something here which is really being mirrored between you both. So, Things are going to progress, definitely. We're going forwards, okay? Stuff's going to change. We're going forwards. This is like forward motion that's happening here. So your person's like struggling between their head and their heart when I see this. So there is this love here, right, with the lover's card, which we know about, but they may have some practical um, concerns about this connection, some 3D world concerns, and they're torn between their head and their heart and what it is that they want. Listen to your intuition at this time. This is very important. The High Priestess is, you know, very magical, and she is at the center of your reading. She is the uh, the pin from which all of this hangs from. This is a really predominant energy. So I feel like there's more going on than meets the eye in this situation. I feel like um, things are working out energetically behind the scenes. Okay, so even if stuff isn't really happening on the surface of things or you're not really getting anywhere, you don't really understand what's going on, Things are unraveling, things are, are, are working their way out for your highest good behind the scenes. Uh, you know, this is what's going on behind the veil. So, it can be helpful to trust. What I'm hearing from Spirit is to trust really powerfully. This is a strong message that I'm getting. I know it's easier said than done, but sometimes we need that reminder because we get caught up in the ego, don't we? We come out of the heart space, we get up into our heads, and then we get caught up in the ego and spirits really saying, you know, get back in touch with your heart, to your heart center, all is well. All right, all is well. You can say all is well in my life, all is well in this connection, all is well in my heart. 
whatever it is that resonates with you all is well so you are being divinely protected and guided she is watching over you you are being watched over and things are working out in the in the 5d towards love so you know let me show you these cards we're moving towards this time things are working out energetically towards love again there is so much love here there is so much beautiful pure divine love in this connection this divine union that's going on but it may be hidden from you at this time the depth of this connection may be hidden to your person maybe they're more in the 3d you're more connected to the 5d it's like a secret love or a hidden love or like a love that's been unspoken they find you very mysterious right they want to come towards you with this love uh, but they feel like there's uh, a barrier not like a firm barrier but just something that makes them feel unsure like they don't quite know how to approach you or how to deal with it or what to say that's going to be like the right thing or like how to reach you how to reach your heart they don't know how to get to your heart so it could be that you've put up an energetic wall to your heart and they can sense this because you've been hurt in the past or because they've hurt you in the past or because you're not sure about them right or maybe that's your pattern but they don't know how to reach you with this love they want to come forward to you but the love is hidden from them your heart is hidden from them it could be that they're unable to connect to love not everybody has that ability to do that for many people love feels dangerous or feels they feel unworthy of it and then they're unable to connect to that love that is available to them now look at this this is powerful as well queen of wands and then these two fives either side of it five of swords five of cups so they don't want to lose you right i feel like there's a lot going on with you where there is like there is a misunderstanding here that i'm seeing with this five of swords let me have some water i'm getting a bit croaky there is a misunderstanding here going on between you you're both making assumptions about something or you're both saying things out of fear or acting out of fear it's causing a lot of sadness spirit wants you to know that you hold all the cards okay you hold all the power regardless of your gender you hold the power in this situation you have the power to make or break them with your actions with your word it's it may not resonate like that it may not seem like that because things are definitely not as they seem when we have this high priestess right in the center of things but you have all the power it may just be the case that you need to remember that you have the power to make choices i definitely feel like you are acting out of integrity i feel like you're really standing your ground not in a like queen of swords i'm putting up my boundaries you can't mess with me sort of a way but just like look these are my boundaries this is what i i you know this is how you can meet my needs this is how we can make this work and maybe they're not getting on board with this or maybe there's a misunderstanding towards how you've communicated that or how they've communicated to you nobody's fault you know um it's just like not quite being on the same page with things but you do have all the power they are magnetically drawn to you they are very attracted to you there is this spark of attraction and i feel like it's quite fiery you may have been quite passionate with them quite fiery with them or vice versa uh you know it could have got a bit like that i don't think they feel these energies of the five of cups and the five of swords like it wouldn't feel so intense so passionate so fiery if your person didn't care or if you didn't care right because the opposite of this is indifference so there's a lot of love here and there's a lot of passion here which can make things a little bit sparky a little bit fiery right so i definitely see that here very attracted to you they don't want to lose you um you have the power 
to make the decision. But don't push them away out of your own fear. Don't send them away because it's going to make you feel really sad. If they come towards you, you can be warm. Like you have the, the choice between being warm. Like warm, yeah, I accept it. I accept what it is that you're offering me at whatever level they're offering it. Or you can, you can scorch them, you can burn them like fire. Those are your choices here. But there is a misunderstanding. which is stopping you from connecting to this love that's available to you. So I see that the misunderstanding is causing sadness for both of you. Okay, let's take a look at your Oracle cards and see what we've got here. All right. We have the card Deception. So maybe they've been deceiving you, right? Um, it could be that it doesn't mean that they're deceiving you in terms of seeing somebody else or anything that dramatic. It could be that they're deceiving themselves about how they, they really feel. That's definitely indicated with this high priestess energy. Just like, I'm not owning up to this. I'm not owning up to my feelings. I'm not opening my heart. I'm going to deceive myself. Or maybe it's you who's deceiving yourself about the truth of this connection the depth of this connection. Somebody is. So there's this energy of deception here, but I think it's like that somebody's deceiving themselves as to what it is they really feel. They're just like, no, no, this isn't, I don't care that much. I can get on with my life. You know, I've got stuff going on. I'm in my power. It doesn't matter that much, but it does. You know it, it does matter. All right, we've got the card Divine Feminine. Very interesting, especially with the High Priestess in the reading. Beautiful feminine energy. Right, this feminine energy is about trusting. What did we talk about earlier? Trusting that everything is working out for your highest good in this situation. Give it up and let God. What is it? I can't remember. Let go and let God. That's it. Let go and let God. So trust in this unfolding process. Just because not everything is revealed to you right now, you can't see everything uh, all the way to the future, all the way down the path. Take it a step at a time. You don't need to look all the way down there. Spirit saying, don't look too far ahead. Take it a day at a time. What's the energy like today? What's the energy like right now? Okay, but the Divine Feminine is about being open to receiving. We talked about this, being receiving what it is that they have to offer with warmth, with acceptance. The Divine Feminine is about trust. It's about acceptance. It's about openness, right? These are the energies. And then we have the beautiful card, Union. Look at this. If you're on the Twin Flame journey, this may resonate with you as a union. I see this here, you know, the lovers, the chariot, high priestess, ace of cups. A union is represented here in your reading. So, you know, if you're apart, if you're in no contact, if you want to give it a second chance, there is this beautiful energy here of union, of you being able to come together, of being able to make this right, of being able to get on the same page, to be able to match each other's energies. You're very similar spirits, you both. So this can come good. This can be a union. And I see that for you. Um, appreciate this moment. This is a card 33, which breaks down to a six. Those numbers may resonate with you. Um, every situation, excuse me, every situation is an opportunity to grow and to find love. We have the images of seashells on here, beautiful shells, a beautiful conch shell, and... Um, coral, coral reefs, um, the ocean. So that may be significant to you in your situation or your connection. Um, but appreciate this moment. It's really, again, about not looking too far ahead. Stay in uh, this moment. Take it a day at a time and just connect to those feelings. Wake up in the morning, connect to those feelings for the day, and then just keep doing it like that. So I'm seeing stepping stones 
right one step at a time will lead you towards this union all right but a lot of forward motion here with this chariot a beautiful divine connection and you know moving towards this love with this ace of cups all right that's everything that i have for you in this reading today it has been my honor to read your cards i've loved spending this time and this energy with you you are all amazing um i love you all so so much if you feel called to please check out my beautiful book attract soulmate love um i have written it from the heart i get amazing stories every day about people coming into union or dissolving blocks with their special person it's really empowering information um people are absolutely loving it it's really helping them perhaps it may help you but check it out on my website there's loads more information about me on there if that resonates with you but have an amazing week let me know how this resonates and i hope to see you again soon here on lumiere take care now bye bye Hey everybody, welcome to your reading everyone who picked group number three. So this is for everyone who picked butterfly number three. I just want to thank my Lumis, my amazing subscribers. Thank you for being part of this family, uh, for supporting this channel and for supporting each other. Um, it's so lovely. So thank you all for being here. All right, let's take a look at this complicated situation that you're in, your situationship or relationship. See if we can get some clarity. So this is really just an opportunity to reflect right now on what's going on. So just take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? That's how we do it in a general reading. I'll start with the tarot and then we'll look at your oracle cards in a moment. So we've got four of pentacles to open your reading. Seven of wands, interesting. Ten of cups, very beautiful. Ten of swords, another ten in the reverse. And then the nine of pentacles at the center of your reading. Judgment in the reverse. Two of swords in the reverse. The hermit. King of pentacles in reverse. Okay, you may be dealing with a Virgo right now or Taurus Capricorn that's what I'm seeing represented here that may resonate with you if it doesn't don't worry about it okay opening your reading with this four of pentacles energy so what I'm seeing here overall looking at this thing is I just th this thing <laughs> like this reading this spread is um I'm seeing two people who are apart in some way like there's some distance between you both so this is what i'm sensing this is what i'm picking up on so this could be physical distance it could be that you're on a break in no communication it could be that there is emotional distance and you're just like they feel really distant from me and i don't know why um this is important. We're opening the reading with this Four of Pentacles. There's someone in this connection has really closed off their heart space, all right? They're kind of shut down. They're in a shut down energy. They're not in the mood for sharing. They're not in the mood for accepting um, what it is that you have to offer. So, you know, this is some blockage here. I can really feel it in the heart chakra, in the heart space of just not uh, being open to maybe what it is that you have to say or um, to the love that you have to offer. These readings can go vice versa as well, so bear that in mind as we go ahead. But I just think this is very significant. There's this energy of control that I'm picking up on of just like, everything needs to turn out my way or like I need to kind of slightly manipulate or control this situation to make me feel safe. This little guy, doesn't feel safe in the situation or it's just like been triggered shut down gone into his shell right um but there's this energy that i'm picking up on of just like needing to have things a certain way or control things a little bit in order to feel safe so there's this kind of narrow band of like or this little cordoned off area and just like this is my comfort zone and anything outside of this is too much for me or I can't handle it or it's not what I want right now or I can't fit it in my mind, okay? 
So I just feel like your person has just got like a boundary and if the boundary gets crossed, they shut down. This could be them, it could be you, but this is what I'm picking up on. This connection is worth fighting for with this Seven of Swords energy, all right? This happiness, this fulfillment, this love is worth fighting for. I feel like your person really feels that. They know this. They may have withdrawn a little bit, uh, they may be protecting themselves because sometimes the four of swords is more of an energy of withdrawing and this is more of a protection like protecting themselves from vulnerability so they may not have taken a step back but they could have done i see that here but this is just like i need to protect myself from getting hurt or i need to protect myself from uh being too real looking too vulnerable right but deep down this connection is definitely this union is definitely worth fighting for a lot of passion in this connection okay this isn't someone who doesn't care this is somebody who wants to fight for this this ten of cups is emotional fulfillment it's the long term okay um it's about creating something for the future it's about investment emotional investment and what i'm hearing from spirit is creating a strong bond and those bonds don't just happen okay um we can have love at first sight but the bond is forged in the crucible the bond takes time to be created it's, it's something that develops but this is definitely something worth fighting for here all right um with the four of pentacles and the seven of wands like this you know this could indicate that your person has become um a little bit defensive uh due to you know whatever it is that has gone on between you both what it is that you've shared um the communication that's been going on between you or you know your experiences they could be a little bit triggered they could be on the defensive Definitely a lot of shut down energy here. Definitely um, them being defensive, which can lead to like communication, which isn't the best, which isn't uh, the most helpful, right? Uh, which doesn't lead to solutions. But they're not done with this, right? They see you, they're attracted to you. They see what it is that you've got going on in your beautiful life. And they are not done with you, with this connection, right? This connection isn't over. They're still very attracted to you. They still see you in uh, high regard and high esteem with love, okay? So, because we've got like two tens here and this is in the reverse. So there's definitely more energy in this. There's definitely more to come with this. Um, it is possible this is worth fighting for. This union is worth fighting for. Um, this is at the center of your reading, this Nine of Pentacles. This could indicate that you're on your own at the moment. You know, maybe you're on a break, something like this. There's definitely this energy of like you doing you right now, which I think is really good. I think, you know, you can chase your dreams and your goals and they, who you're connecting with, can chase you. I think this is the way to do it, okay? You invest in yourself they can invest in this connection. And you're continuing to invest in yourself. I feel like you're learning something, some of you actually. It's just a little message that I'm picking up on, like you're considering learning something or you're learning something. It's gonna really benefit for you for the future. It's expanding your consciousness. I think this is really good. So, you know, maybe it is that you're working on your financial goals as well. <clears throat> I need some water. Right now, that's what's going on. We've got judgment in the reverse. This indicates, you know, I'm really feeling like there's this energy of acting out of the ego space rather than kind of connecting to those more 5D, connecting to more of the spiritual. We always have that choice between the head and the heart to get up into our heads and, um, you know, get caught up in the ego. And the ego is always based on fear. It's always got a story, hasn't it? The ego's always caught up in stories of like, oh, what's gonna happen? It's all gonna be a disaster. Um, so I'm seeing uh, quite a lot of that energy here, maybe from you, maybe from your person, maybe between you both. Um, 
and just I feel like your person isn't waking up to the deeper lessons that are available to them. They're not waking up to the truth of this situation right now. So if you're feeling a little bit frustrated with them because of this, this is why they're just not in this space where they've quite, it doesn't mean that they won't, but they haven't woken up to it yet. Um, also, I don't think you're going to be getting a call. This indicates like if you're wanting them to call you or you're wanting to get a call or you're wanting to have some kind of illuminating conversation, this isn't happening right now. We're only looking at the energies right now in this reading. Uh, but I just want you to be aware of that if you're kind of waiting on them to do that, to have that breakthrough, um, to reach out to you to make that call. To It isn't in their energy right now. It is worth fighting for, you can come into union, but at this moment, we're gonna to need to wait a little bit more time for things to progress. So what are we progressing towards? We've got the two of swords in the reverse. This is good. So this is like we're moving towards something where we're being more open, okay? Maybe your person's being more open. More open communication and into making a decision, okay? A decision needs to be made. This is indicated here, regardless of something. Maybe it's a decision to do with the future of this connection. Maybe it's a decision to do with uh, the problems that you're experiencing or some practical issues in this connection. But um, this indicates being solutions focused, right? Finding whenever there's a problem, there's always a solution, okay? So there are solutions to your problems. There is a solution to this situation. Um, which can be overcome, and this is the energy that you're going into. It's very positive, it's expansive energy, it brings clarity, uh, it brings more openness, and this is really good. So, we've got the Hermit. See, this is what I'm seeing here. There's two, like, single energies here that I'm seeing. It's like two separate people doing their own thing. So I don't know whether you're on a break or in no communication or whether you just feel distant to one another, like you're not on the same page or you don't want the same thing. But I just feel like one person's like quite warm, they're doing their own thing, they're working on themselves, they're keeping in that high vibration, keeping positive, and then one person has maybe frozen the other person out, or they're just uh, numbing out, or just sitting around drinking whiskey, I don't know. But um, the positive side of this is that they are, you know, there is wisdom with this, if you are separated from one another right now, or you feel distant, or you're taking a bit of time to work things out, this is in divine timing, and this is really needed. It is uh, part of the bigger picture of things, and it is it will be beneficial to your connection, so don't give in to your fears about it if there's a separation here, because this is beneficial for both of you. So maybe you're both working on yourself separately before you can come back together with that greater understanding, okay? So there is wisdom here with this hermit energy. So there's no need to force it, there's no need to worry about the future, there's no need to put any pressure on it. It's all, it's all working out. You know, and there's so much love here. This is about love, this is about the long term. But also we have this king of pentacles in the reverse. So this is one of the things that they're considering. Food, this is food for thought for them about like what it is that they want for the long term. I think this came up in group number two as well. So there's some, there's some themes coming up in these readings, which I think is very validating. Um, so, it's giving them the chance, the option. Maybe you've done that. Maybe you've just said, well, go and have a think about it. Let me know what you want. Or maybe you need to do that. Well, I get on with my fabulous life and make all this money, right? Um, so what's good about this is that, you know, with the hermit is that there is wisdom there. They are coming to conclusions. They're learning about themselves and about what it is. And what they're thinking about is just like, what do I want? for the long term. How do I see my future looking? Right now, they don't know. They're in a state of flux, is what I'm hearing from spirit. This is what I'm seeing written all over this situation. So if it feels complicated, this is why. It's because everything, and I'm seeing this absolutely across the board, is in a state of flux. It's just how things are. Things are up in the air at the moment, 
the time that you're checking out this reading, things are up in the air and we need more time for things to adjust, for things to assimilate. This is a card of assimilation and for things to unfold. So there is more energy in this. This is worth fighting for. This wouldn't be here. Well, this passion wouldn't be here if it wasn't worth it. So, but I feel like things are up in the air. I want to see uh, what's on the bottom of the deck. Uh, to get more clarity, I want to clarify this King of Pentacles. So we have Justice. This is from the Good Tarot. All my decks are linked in the description box. They're super shiny though, look at that. Wow, you're gonna get blinded. Justice, amazing. Okay, so balance is coming in. This is union, this is balance, and this is about a decision being made. Again, we talked about this, this is being, um, you know, she's holding the sword of truth. Some communication is coming in, which is gonna bring more clarity to you, and it's gonna help you uh, to make that decision or a decision is going to be made between you both. It's either going to be you that makes it in your from your beautiful power or uh, it's something that you make together, you make that decision. So you're not in this limbo, right? What I'm seeing right now is just like, everything's in so much state of flux that you're just in this limbo. And obviously that feels very challenging, very uncomfortable for you, okay? So I see things coming into balance and I see you kind of getting a verdict about kind of, where it is that this is going or whatever it is that's causing uh, this, this uh, stuckness, right? Super interesting. Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. So we have the card Grief. So I feel like your person is feeling very low about this. Um, you know, someone in this connection may have experienced a loss as a result of this. You know, they're feeling like it's causing them, uh, you know, a sense of disappointment is what I'm hearing. It's, it, this situation, this state of flux is causing a lot of sadness. And I'm really sorry if that is the case right now. We have the card Observer. So it may be that you're checking up on each other on social media. Your person is definitely checking up on you or asking around about you, what's going on with you. Even if you are in communication, they're trying to um, get to you, you know, to find out more in an indirect way rather than asking you outright um but also kind of checking in on you i f i can kind of see them just like late at night scrolling through your pictures looking at you thinking that you look so handsome or so beautiful uh you know feeling the warmth of your energy through that so um if they're on the sidelines if you are separated then you know they want to get in close to you to your energy there's a lot of fear here we talked about that fear earlier feeling triggered with this. So your person is really feeling very triggered right now. They've got a lot of fear. Could be an old wound that's been, um, you know, uncovered at this time with this fear. But just to look at these, these are a lot of heavy energies here. With the observer, the grief, the fear, they're kind of dark, lower vibrational energies that we're experiencing at this time. So what I'm seeing in this reading is that there are challenges, there are a lot of challenges. They are triggering a lot of fear, uh, a lot of heartache, um, a lot of longing, maybe for you, maybe for your person. And this is difficult for both of you. I feel a little bit emotional. I feel like this is quite sad. But look at this. This is interesting. Look to your inner strength. This card comes out every single time. I do a reading. Every time I use the Whispers of Love Oracle deck, I get this card. But what's interesting about it, wait, 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 is that it's an 11, breaks down to a two, that may be significant to you. Justice is obviously also an 11. What have we got here? 11, 11. How powerful is this? So you are being divinely supported and guided. If this is challenging, please don't worry. This is the gateway. 1111 is the gateway. So you're going through the portal, you're going through a gateway into something which feels better, into clarity, into you know something that's a higher frequency, definitely. So I think this state of flux, what Spirit is saying to me, is a necessary part of assimilating what you're learning. It's a necessary part of your connection, but it's all being leveled up. Okay, so we're assimilating in order to upgrade uh, this, this connection, all right? So 
Um, this look to your inner strength. Look, she's holding a crystal ball. I don't have one of those cameras that focuses. You'll have to imagine it. What about now? So she's holding a crystal ball in this and she's just going, well, what about the future? What's going to happen? Okay, so Spirit's really just saying, trust in this process, take it a day at a time and just assume that whatever is in your future is for the highest good, for your highest good. So you can just say, whatever's coming next is something good or only good can come to me or only good can come out of this situation, all right? This is the way to get higher vibrational. Uh, you know, to raise your frequency, to create uh, and manifest a good outcome for this. It says you are stronger than you realize. Leo's energy represented here as well. Okay, so there's no need to look too far ahead. Lilies are also represented on here as well. So that may be significant to you. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. Um, I'm sending you lots and lots of love in your situation. I hope this has been helpful in some way for you. Um, if you feel called to, please check out my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations to help to raise your vibration and dissolve the blocks that you may have towards love and prosperity. People have been getting absolutely amazing results with those. They, they write to me every day saying about how uh, it's created shifts and the changes that have taken place in their life. So it's really, really cool to hear that. So uh, if that resonates with you, check that out. Out. they're all linked in the description box below this video but it has been my honor to read your cards to spend this beautiful time with you i hope to see you again soon here on lumiere take care now bye bye